Hi, welcome to the App Codes channel on YouTube. Today we're going to continue looking at customizing a UI table view and a UI table view cell. So we're going to be starting with some code that we left off with last time. You can get it by going here www.theappcodeblog.com slash code slash custom table dot zip and that'll give you the app that I'm going to bring up and start right here. You see we just have a table view with a label and a picture. Now since the last time we worked on this I deleted all these other labels that I had thrown in there demonstrating so now we just have the one label. But before we get started um, there's a little problem with this that I'm going to show you. We select a cell, we do some scrolling, we're scrolling off of the actual view because we have so many. We come back up here and see what happened. It overwrote our label pretty ugly. That's when we do a select. So, in order to get around that, I'm going to show you what we have to do. Come up here to our self road index path, and we're just going to move all of this code into our if block, like that. Now, if we run it, again, we can select, scroll down, select, back up, select, and everything's good. Okay, so now let's work on customizing it and making it look a little prettier or uglier depending on your preference. First thing we're going to do is open up the nib file for our root view controller and we're going to make it a grouped table view and then we're going to change the background color to this pretty blue. Okay, let's go ahead and run it again. See now we have this blue back there and it's starting to look a little better. See by putting it in the by making it a grouped here it now has the rounded corners that you see here. And if we had more than one section in our table um, it would be grouped into different sections, but we just have the one, so that's okay. Now, let's work on changing the color of our cell. So let's go to our cell for row index path method again, and we're going to go custom label, background color equals UI color, yellow color built-in color so we don't have to specify a custom one. Let's go ahead and run it again. Okay, and what we did there is we changed the background color of our label. Now, I think I had mentioned I was going to change the background color of the cell, but I started with the label there, unintentionally I might add. Now let's do the cell. The background color of the cell it equal to that same yellow color. And run it again. Now our cell and our label both have the same background color. Let's do one more thing. Let's change the color of our text there. Let's make it blue to match our background. So let's come up to our custom label again. text color this time and we're going to make it blue color so just like that all right you see now our label color matches our background you see how much different that looks than when we started out with okay let's make one more change here Let's change the font that we're using. So we're going to go um, font with name Zepfino size 16. So I just replaced using a system font 
with a font that I know resides on the iPhone that the iPhone can use. So, change the font, let's build it again. There you go. Oops, looks like we need to bring it down a little bit, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's bring it down to, say, 18. Let's see if that helps. No, it didn't. It's interesting. What if we made this bigger? And try that. Just goofing off here for now, but you'll see um, what can be done here. Ooh, look at that. Well, it moved it down and it covered part of our line. So we didn't want it quite so far down, but you can see that this is how we can go about customizing it and placing things exactly where we want them. Again, it's too, too far, probably because of this. Last one, and then I'll just quit. There we go. Still cut off the top a little bit. Oh well. You can play with it and get that to work. Anyway, you see, um, what can be done now as far as customizing a UI table view and its cells. I hope you found that helpful. Um, thanks for watching and as always please come visit me at theappcodeblog.com. You can also follow me personally on Twitter at Kent Franks, that's K-E-N-T-F-R-A-N-K-S, or you can find the app code blog on Facebook and choose to like us there and if you do one of those two things you'll start getting um, daily iOS development tips that I've been putting out. Just very short and simple tips um, on development that uh, you may or may not find helpful. Okay, that's it for, day, for today. Thanks a lot.